So I only found out about three days ago that I was going to have the day off and I always find when you get an unexpected day off the best way to spend it is to go on an adventure and today I am off on a road trip to somewhere that I have wanted to go to for years. So if you like Scotland, you like the outdoors, you like history and you like the royal family this video is definitely for you because we are off to Royal Deeside. Welcome to Balmoral Estate in Royal Deeside. This, well, today's walk, I'm basically going up to some cairns which were built here to commemorate special occasions within the royal family's life. I think the royal family might be here just now. It's that time of year, but also there's quite a lot of like police and security guards and that around Balmoral Castle. You can't get into the castle at this time of year unfortunately, but you can still do these cairn walks. So that's exactly what I'm going to do today. And one of them, believe it or not, is a massive pyramid in the middle of nowhere, which is the reason why I've wanted to come here for so long. So this is the first cairn and it is a memorial of when Princess Beatrice got married to... I actually can't read it because it's so old, but the date on here is the 23rd of July 1885. Is roasting today. So just to give you a little bit more history of this, there is 11 cairns dotted around Balmoral Estate on this walk and they're all to commemorate members of the royal family or some special events which happened within their life. Like that one we just saw which was commemorating a marriage. I appear to be the only person here. I'm in this gorgeous, ancient and being restored pine forest in the Cairngorms National Park. But aside of the Cairngorms that I've never really done much exploring in before and I just love it when I find the time to come to places I've never been to before. The view over here it is stunning and the, the drive up here today was, was mind-blowing. I've never done that drive at this time of year before and because today is quite a nice still day the colours on the, from all the foliage and the heather is starting to come out in all the woodlands and the moorlands. It's just beautiful. Anyway, let's continue this ancient walk through these woodlands in Balmoral Estate and see which cairn we're going to discover next. Well, this would certainly be a great place to come in the autumn with your camera. Look at this tree behind me. Imagine that in all its autumn foliage with all this mosses and lichens on the boulders around it. Wow. I doubt I'm going to have time this year, but if I do, I'd definitely like to come back here in October and photograph this when all the colours have changed because most of the trees in this woodland are pine, so they obviously don't change colour. But within this ancient kind of bit here with all these mosses growing, there is quite a few birch trees and they would look gorgeous in the autumnal light. This whole walk seems to be uphill. 
<laughs> oh my goodness. I think I can see the cairn that I came here to see today though, through these trees over here. So the second one I found, which I'm quite surprised about, but if this is the cairn that I came to see, I'm so excited to see this. And I'm gonna sit up there and have a lovely picnic lunch. A pyramid in Scotland, like an actual pyramid. It's amazing. I've wanted to come and see this place for myself for so many years now just because it's so unique. I mean, nobody expects to find a pyramid in the middle of the Scottish Highlands. Look at the view. In the middle of this ancient woodland, overlooking, you can just see, I think, the rooftops of Balmoral Castle where the, the Queen and all the other royal families stay at this time of year. And this pyramid says, To the beloved memory of Albert, the great and good Prince Consort, erected by his broken-hearted widow Victoria R, the 21st of August, 1862. Wow. I mean, is there much better views than this to sit and have a picnic lunch? There is some more things written here. The dates on here, again, down here, 21st of August 1862, and there's loads of like initials here, so I'm wondering whether maybe those initials were the people that helped her build this, this pyramid. Imagine though, coming up with the idea of building a pyramid in the Scottish Highlands, overlooking the land which you once called home. What an amazing memorial. Now that I'm fed and watered, I'd really like to try and get an image of me beside this pyramid. Reaching up as I normally do just to show the scale of it. And for memory's sake, because I've wanted to come here for so many years. I have got my camera in my bag. I've not got my big tripod. I've only got a small off-road lightweight one that I'm using for my, for my vlogging camera. But I'm hoping that it'll withstand my DSLR so I can get an image. I'm just looking just now about the best kind of pathway to try and get it all in with me and the scale just so I can put an image in this video, remember this trip for a long long time to come and I mean how unusual is it to find a pyramid in the middle of the Scottish Highlands? So I tried a few different compositions with um, with that pyramid and different, you know, landscape and portrait shots with my camera, but I just it just wasn't happening. What I had in my head and visualised that I would be able to photograph, just it just wasn't happening. I think it's because of where the paths are and where all the kind of vantage points are. It's really difficult to get a good image of that pyramid. But anyway. Now that I have found the one I was looking for, I was considering heading back, but I think I'm going to keep walking and see if I can find one or two more of these cairns, because I think some of the other ones I've, that we've yet to see, because we've only seen two out of the eleven, I think some of the other ones are meant to be quite nice as well. Nothing's going to beat that pyramid, but we'll see what we can find. So another hour or so in this woodland exploring, and whatever we find on top of that pyramid, it's just a bonus at the end of the day. 
And as I said at the start of the video, this is what unexpected days off are all about. Getting out and doing the things that you've wanted to do for years, but you've never had the time to do. So embrace every minute, get out there, enjoy it, and see what you can discover. So I'm starting to think that I somehow managed to miss all the other cairns. I found this route on the website Walk Highlands or Walking Highlands, um, which I've mentioned before, and the gate that was meant to start this walk that they mentioned on that website, I could not find it anywhere. So I ended up starting a little bit further up than, than what they said to. And I've just went online and looked at the map for this place and I'm just, it's very, very confusing. I think that pyramid was meant to be the last one that you discover because it is such an amazing and massive pyramid. So I've ended up now on this kind of road track and I'm hoping that it's going to lead me back to the starting point so that I don't have to trek all the way up that massive hill again. I mean, it's a shame if I have somehow managed to miss all the other cairns, but I'm just glad that I got to see that pyramid. And of course, if I manage to find any more cairns on the way back to the car, I'll show you them, but I suppose that's one of the downsides about somewhere like this because it is Royal Deeside and this is part of like the Queen and the Royal Family's holiday kind of resort when they come here in the summer. Obviously, you know, it's quite a private kind of area. They, although you are allowed to walk here because you've got the right to roam in Scotland, they obviously, you know, it's not somewhere that a lot of people come. So there's no signposts, there's no nothing. There's not even much information on the internet about how to get here. So. You know, trying to find your way around and find all these cairns is like a treasure hunt, which I suppose makes it more exciting, but at the end of the day, I can't really spend all day here looking for these cairns, walking up and down that hill and getting lost. So I'm just going to head down this road now, see where it ends up, and hopefully, like I say, it'll take me back to the start of the walk and I won't have to walk up that massive hill again. Well, that's me back at the car and that's the end of another video. I just want to kind of say quickly before I leave this, this video behind that this video has probably been the... <laughs> I, this is the most uncomfortable video I've ever filmed, which you might think is strange because I'm pretty much in the middle of nowhere today. You know, it's very rural. There is a lot of people in the car park I'm at, but the walk I just did, I never saw another soul on the whole walk. So you might say, well, why did you find it so uncomfortable? You know, you were out there on your own and, you know, it was great even after that pyramid. I absolutely loved it. But I think I feel so on edge today because I know, well, I don't know, but this is a time of year when the royal family come up to Scotland and I just keep like, it's really weird. Like, I feel really bad for being here right now because this is their holiday. Um, and although I haven't, as far as I'm aware, seen any of the royal family today, because to be honest, I've actually been, there's been quite a lot of dark, big Land Rovers and 4x4s driving past me, but I've almost been too scared to look to see if it is the royal family. And you know, I don't know, I just feel like I'm in, invading their privacy, even though you can't get into the castle or the grounds at this time of year where they would be. You know, they do actively drive around these areas and get out and about and are regularly seen. And when I was coming back from that walk on that kind of gravelly, you know, off-road driving track, you know, a 4x4 four four did drive past me and there was bits higher up which I kind of saw where I know that the Queen has driven up there before and where she's been up here on holiday and it's just... I almost feel mind blown to be here right now because the chances are that the Queen or at least some of the royal family are probably only about 100 metres away from me right now in the building kind of behind this fence where there's like police presence at every gate and it's crazy like I know people that live in England you know probably deal with the royal family a lot and of this part of Scotland does as well but the part of Scotland I come from I did see the Queen once um, in the area that I'm from getting off the royal train but it's just weird to think that these, you know, people that run the country and these prestigious people are like literally like right behind me somewhere right now, probably on their holidays. I don't know, I just feel like I've been invading their holiday even though I haven't and 
you know, you've got the right to roam in Scotland and I haven't filmed them because I haven't seen them, but oh, it's just been weird. Anyway, I just wanted to kind of get that off my chest before I say goodbye. I'm gonna, gonna head home now. I was considering kind of stopping off at a couple of castles along the way, but I've got so much packing and preparation still to do for Harrison Lewis, which I'll probably be there actually when this video goes out. So I'm gonna go home, do that, and oh, yeah. I just wanna say, as always, thank you all again for watching, and I will see you all again next time.